Oh, good job. Please be seated. Le président, oh. vous asseoir. The court is now back in Reprise session. de l'audience. And again, the chamber hand the floor to Nunchi Defense to continue putting questions to the witness. We also do have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, before the break, uh, we were speaking about this meeting uh, during which you said um, the, the purge of law and all officials and soldiers was discussed. Um, let me revisit this, this, this meeting. It was Pek Chim, you said, who um, chaired the meeting. Do you remember uh, his exact words? De ce a Did dit he exactement. tell the people who attended this meeting how these plans were to be uh, evacuated, uh, uh, affected, how the plans were supposed to take place? I did not know about the arrangement for the implementation of the plan, but uh, that plan was announced. The focus was, was on the evacuees, and they spoke about uh, the first deputy chief, uh, as I stated, in the administration, and also for the former soldiers. And they had to be purged as well as uh, their cliques. But do you remember how that was to be established? How uh, was it possible to determine from the evacuees um, whether they were former law no officials or soldiers? How was the plan to be effectuated? On the issue of Réponse. the implementation, it means that uh, those soldiers would be detained after they reveal that they were former soldiers, for example, a major or colonel, and even uh, et some people who did not hold any rank over, not the soldiers, but uh, wanting to return to Phnom Penh, claimed that they were a soldier, and as a consequence, they also were arrested. But what I don't understand, Mr. Witness, is you're saying this meeting was held before the evacuation. Uh, there was still fighting going on. Um, was there any discussion of the role of the military in relation to what should happen with these law and officials? Or officers. Était-il du rôle joué par ces officiers, ces soldats de l'ONL? That's what we were told during the meeting. C'est ce que l'on nous a dit pendant la réunion. And uh, the main focus, uh, from what we could see, uh, was for the village chiefs the commune chiefs to observe village, about those people, whether they were former soldiers or the former uh, heads in the administration, and if that was the case, then they had to be purged. But how was it to be established that people coming within the group of evacuees were in fact officials of the Ronald administration or ranking officers. How was it to be effectuated in practice? Can you shed some light, please, Mr. Witness? In fact, while people Réponse. were being evacuated and while they were en route and not yet arrived at the base, alors que les gens there was en route a, et a, pas a arrivés, policy that those people would be divided into various groups depending on their rank. For example, groupes. if they were first or second grade, lieutenants, exemple, then they would be put aside, and whether they were the 
chief or deputy chief in the administration, the then they will be put aside, and later on they were taken away, leaving their family bien, members behind. Euh, leur uh, but Mr. Ailleurs. Witness, you are describing a very complicated uh, logistical Monsieur operation. Le témoin, vous de là, Can opération you give us some details as to how this was supposed to be done? There were thousands of people coming from Phnom Penh. What were the instructions given by Tak Chim to implement this decision? Je parle des instructions portant sur la mise en œuvre de cette opération. Tachim gave us the Réponse. instructions, as I stated, but let me uh, uh, clarify that he made uh, that announcement that his instructions were only for the uh, Takai, for the Tramcourt district. People will be put in different uh, pagodas within the village les and communes of the Tramcourt district. Dans les villages, les du and de for that reason, all et the village and commune chiefs were called to attend that, that meeting. That is to monitor uh, amongst those evacuees, whether they were former officers or whether they were ranking soldiers. Um, I will try question. to simplify my questions, Je Mr. Witness. Let me uh, question, limit témoin. myself to you. Uh, when you left that meeting, vous avez cette what réunion, was the instruction to you Personally, Quelle what did you have to do? Vous aviez été donné à vous Can en you remember that? Qu'aviez-vous à faire vous? Vous en souvenez-vous? Yes, I recall that after oui, I left the meeting, I returned to my Après place that is to work in the hospital moi, and to look after the patients. M'occuper des patients. I, I don't understand, Mr. Witness. I think you said earlier, you testified earlier that you didn't start working in uh, the hospital until uh, 1976. Uh, but at the same time, you're talking about evacuees. Là, vous parlez which des would be, um, before 17 April 75. Are you confused maybe with the dates? Vous êtes about un the date about this meeting? Dates, dans le, par rapport à la date de cette réunion? You réponse. asked me about uh, the meeting, and I already responded uh, to Je that question. Répondu. True, um, question, exact, but I asked you what did you do when the meeting was finished, and you said you went back to the hospital. However, your testimony is that you didn't start working in the hospital until 1976, which is one, one and a half year after the evacuation. And earlier you said the meeting was before the evacuation, so that would not seem to be possible. So, my question again, the meeting was finished, then what did you do? I think I am not Réponse. confused. Je ne pense pas être perdu ici. You asked me about the period Vous before 1975, or rather, after the evacuation of the people. Let me clarify it. In fact, uh, I attended en fait, a meeting or a similar meeting before the evacuation of the people and later on after the evacuees arrived ensuite, I attended a similar meeting where they genre, spoke about a, a similar instruction. So we did not actually know about the evacuation process as we were studying at the base. So now you are speaking base. about two Question. meetings, uh, Mr. Witness, réunions, as, it, as it seems. Did, was, the, was the Pek Chim, the district chief, also chairing Pek the Chim, second meeting? Le chef du district, présidait-il également la deuxième réunion? Good 
Yes, he uh, presided Réponse. over oui. the true uh, meetings that I mentioned. Que <laughs> so let me get Question. back to the first meeting. Je the meeting la that was held before the evacuation. Qui a eu lieu avant the meeting was finished. Cette a pris Tachim fin. had spoken. Tachim, uh, you left. Parlé. What was your instruction? What, what was it supposed? What, what, what were you supposed to do after the first meeting was finished? Après la première réunion. At that time, I was uh, still working in rice field, as well as I worked as a, a mechanic. Et j'étais également mécanicien. Or rather just a, a handyman enfin, to build houses and to build bridges along the road. Des ponts le long de la route. Then I will uh, repeat my question. earlier question. Je vais donc um, répéter la question why, précédente. Why as a mechanic Pourquoi or somebody who worked in the rice fields were you, were you allowed to be present at this meeting? What was your authority to talk about the purge of Lono officials uh, and officers? Why were you there? At that time, I did not hold Réponse. any specific uh, position, je aucun poste but en I received uh, some education Mais uh, from uh, Jay Buen. Buen, and then I uh, avait... attended uh, the, the meeting and nobody Instruit said anything. Et on m'a demandé de par d'aller de, à cette réunion. So it is your testimony that at this meeting Question. before the evacuation, Vous dites maintenant during which it was decided that many people were to be executed, you were just there without any authority. As I said, I did not have any authority. However, there were various uh, groups of people, uh, progressive men, Mais progressive youth, de personnes, uh, male youth, and progressive jeunes, females hommes, youth. Hommes, and hommes, I was part présents. of the progressive Moi, men, and I was allowed to, uh, to go to the meeting. Um, let me move on to that second Question. meeting. Uh, that was, a, that was the meeting that you said you were working in the hospital. La it's your testimony that also this meeting was chaired by Tachim. Vous avez dit que cette réunion était également présidée par Tachim. Do you remember what Tachim said at that second meeting? Vous souvenez-vous de ce qu'a dit Tachim lors de cette deuxième réunion? For the second meeting, Réponse. he reiterated the same instructions. Il a renouvelé because by that time, the evacuees were everywhere in the villages and the communes. And he, he instructed the, the, the chiefs of the villages and the communes to, uh, to research on those evacuees about uh, the fact that whether they were former uh, uh, ranking officers and whether they were uh, civil servants with the position in the administration starting from the first uh, deputy chief. And if that was the case, then they had to be purged. You left that meeting, Question. that second meeting. Vous avez what was the instruction to you specifically? What is Quelle instruction it, vous avez été donnée à vous en particulier Qu'aviez-vous à faire à l'hôpital suite à cette réunion They did not uh, give me any Réponse. personal instructions. Non, on donné aucune the instructions instruction were mainly for the village chiefs the commune chiefs and the commune militia and as I read at the hospital there were there was no specific instruction for me. However as I said, uh, it was the uh, commune militia, the commune chiefs, and the village chiefs who had to implement uh, that policy. Um, Fine, Mr. Witness. Question. Um, Très bien, Monsieur le témoin. 
you're saying that also during that second meeting, um, these Lonol officials and former officers were targeted. Réunion, um, là how do you know that the people that were targeted were in fact at one point in time executed? How do you know? que ces personnes ont, à un moment ou à un autre, été exécutées par la suite. I knew it because, as I Réponse. stated earlier uh, about my other brother-in-law, car je vous ai déjà parlé de mon beau-frère, on that day, he, he came through my house, and uh, around noon time then they came midi. to the house and uh, took him away uh, and in the case of my uncle he was uh, taken at night but I did not know uh, uh, when because I did not see it and also I had uh, another uncle who was a major was taken away and he disappeared since and a, an elder uh, brother of mine, Real M, um, who was a, a uh, warrant officer in the police force, also disappeared. And these are the examples that led me to my understanding about that instruction. I understand, Mr. Witness. Are you trying to say that it was your personal experience with your uncle, your brother-in-law, that led you to the conclusion that the things that were discussed at this meeting, chaired by Tachim, uh, was also about the execution of former law officials? Is it only your personal experience that made you give this answer? C'est bien en vous appuyant sur votre expérience personnelle que vous avez répondu, n'est-ce pas? I don't understand your question. I understand how we phrase. You gave me some examples about your brother-in-law and about your uncle. Vous avez parlé de votre beau-frère, de votre oncle. They disappeared. Vous avez dit qu'ils avaient disparu. But my question was about a meeting chaired by uh, Tachim. Je vous ai reparlé de la réunion présidée par Tachim. Did Tachim say during the meeting je voulais savoir uh, that law no si officials si and uh, officers should be executed? Au cours de cette réunion, que les anciens fonctionnaires et soldats de l'ONLOL devaient être exécutés. Tachim did not use the word Réponse. execution or be to be executed, but he used the word uh, purged. Il a parlé that we hated to, uh, to purge them. Il a parlé de purge, qu'il fallait qu'ils soient l'objet de purge. Um, let me ask you another question. question. Did you ever personally observe any execution of Lono officials or Lono officers? d'anciens soldats ou fonctionnaires de l'Olnol? No. Réponse non. Uh, are you aware that within District 105, former law law uh, officials and soldiers were re-educated uh, and not executed? President, Mr. Witness, please wait and the international deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. I'll rephrase my question, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, um, do you know anything about re-education of former law law officials uh, and soldiers and or officers? No, I did not. Réponse non. Do you know what the official title was of Question. Krang Tachan? Connaissiez-vous le nom what officiel de Krang Tachan? Savez-vous comment l'on appelait Krang Tachan? It was called Krang Tachan. On l'appelait Krang Tachan. Um, what was the official title of that place? Question. Uh, that quel était le nom officiel de, official de cet endroit, de ce centre? Do you know? Comment l'appelait-on sous le Kampucha démocratique Il 
in fact, réponse. I myself was afraid of Krangta Chan. Personnellement, j'avais peur de Krangta Chan. Was a uh, prison. Krangta Chan, c'était une prison. To uh, for the detention of uh, people who committed the wrongdoings. Une prison où on détenait les personnes qui avaient commis des fautes. That is correct. Uh, Mr. Question, c'est exact, Monsieur le témoin. Was whether you know the official title. Mais j'aimerais savoir si vous connaissiez le nom officiel de cet endroit que l'on appelait Krangta Chan. What was it called? In Comment terms. l'appelait-on à l'époque du Kampuchea Before uh, it it was uh, turned into a detention Réponse. center, uh, that area was called. Tropeng Tachan. Avant, Tropeng, it means a pond. That, but however, Tropeng, that étang. name was used a long time avant, ago. Avant, c'était donc le nom, le nom de cet endroit avant qu'il ne devienne un centre uh, de sécurité de prison. Let me help you a little bit, Mr. Witters. Does the name Re-Education Office 105 mean something to you? Bureau de Réducation 105 vous dit quelque chose. Est-ce que ce nom vous dit quelque chose? I uh, did not get it. I did not understand about uh, the word uh, re-education. Je ne comprenais pas vraiment le nom réeducation, le terme Have you ever heard the word re-education during the DK regime? Avez-vous entendu le nom de réeducation sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique? It is uh, my understanding Réponse. that I did not hear about uh, the word uh, re-education Je n'ai pas entendu prononcer ce terme Kai Prai in Khmer uh, unless I uh, cannot recall it. Réeducation. En tout cas, je ne m'en souviens pas. Minor mistakes, I, I don't even know where those people were sent uh, en fait, for re-education. And I did not know whether Krangta Chan was a re-education center. Je ne savais pas si Chan était un centre de réeducation ou pas. Um, I'm not sure if I understand, Question. Mr. Witness. One of the nurses compris, working in your hospital was sent to Krangta uh, Chan. Chan. Uh, you saw her vous vu when you were visiting Krangta Chan. Vous vous êtes rendu à Krangta Chan. Um, do you know what she was doing there? Was she a prisoner? Ce Or was she maybe re-educated? I did not know. And je ne sais pas. When I saw her, uh, she was vue, uh, cooking rice in a small uh, cooking pot. Dans une petite marmite. And when we were uh, requested to go and spray uh, DDT, we, that was the only DDT, thing we do. We were not allowed to speak to anyone or talk to anyone. And we were also afraid of the center. Let me ask you a question, Mr. Question. Witness, about a related, related topic. Um, in your statement to the investigators, uh, D1, sorry, uh, E319.1.21, in uh, question um, 105, uh, you were speaking about uh, prisoners that were sent to prison 204. And in uh, relation to that prison, you spoke about uh, minor and serious offenders. Can you tell us what exactly the difference was between minor offenders and serious offenders? I am not really so sure about the distinction. Je ne sais pas très bien quelle était la différence. People who were sent to prison 204, some of them uh, returned, Certains while others uh, did not. But the majority of them did not return. Je que la de ces ne sont pas 
Question, lorsque ces personnes sont revenues, ont-elles dit qu'elles avaient été rééduquées après avoir commis ces fautes légères Ont-elles dit qu'elles avaient été rééduquées ou ne l'ont-elles pas dit No, réponse. they did not use non. the word uh, re-education. However, they use the word uh, prison. Elles n'ont pas employé le terme re-education. En revanche, elles ont employé le terme prison. Uh, Mr. Witness, I will move to another uh, Question. topic. Question. Monsieur Témoin, j'aimerais passer à un autre sujet. And that is um, the question. Uh, A10 in document E3 slash 5511. Dans le document E3 bar 5511. <coughs> And the investigators um, ask you the following question, Mr. Witness, and I will quote that question to you and then read the answer. Um, we're speaking about uh, the same conference that we were discussing earlier. Question is, in the conference, were Vietnamese people mentioned? And then you answer. Vietnamese people were not mentioned in the conference, but later on, all Vietnamese people who lived in the village long disappeared. Do you remember giving this testimony to the investigators? Vous souvenez-vous d'avoir dit cela aux enquêteurs? Yes, I recall that. Réponse: Oui, je m'en souviens. And did you hear this? During the first meeting, or did you hear this at the second meeting? Which word did I hear? De quoi ai-je entendu parler? I really don't get your question. Je n'ai pas bien compris votre question. President, Councillor Coupe, please refresh your question, as the witness doesn't understand it. Um, I read a question to you about um, the disappearance of Vietnamese people who lived in the village. Des qui dans le Do village. you remember that this was being discussed vous souvenez -vous que at the conference that you attended? Lors de la conférence à laquelle vous avez participé. After uh, people were evacuated through my area, Après every meeting uh, spoke about uh, the Vietnamese and about the Kampuchea Crown. On parlait pendant les réunions des Vietnamiens et des Kampuchea Crown. And uh, also for the meetings held at the village level, the village chiefs also spoke les about this des issue. Les villages en parlaient également lors des réunions au niveau des villages. What was meant, or what do, what do you mean with the word disappear? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire lorsque vous utilisez le terme disparaître? I did not know. They just uh, disappeared. Je ne sais pas. Ils disparaissaient, c'est tout. As for uh, instance, for the first uh, lieutenant, that uh, exemple, their rank would be les... reinstated. That's what uh, they were Premier told, but uh, they disappeared, so I did not know what happened. I apologize, Mr. Witness, maybe my question was a little bit confusing, but I was speaking about the Vietnamese, uh, the, Viet the Vietnamese people who lived in the village. In your testimony, you used the word disappeared. What do you mean with the word disappear? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire lorsque vous dites disparaître I used the word disappeared because they were no longer lived in their houses. Uh, they all disappeared. All the members of the families, including their personal belongings, all gone. And we did not know. Nobody knew uh, where they went, what happened to them. Did you hear that they... No, let me rephrase. Was it possible that they were expelled to Vietnam? Et envoyé au Vietnam. Bon. Answer. 
I have never heard that they were expelled. So they were all gone, and I never knew that uh, they were expelled. Just to be clear, Mr. Witness, we're speaking about uh, the years 1975-1976. Do you know anything about the expulsion of Vietnamese people who were living in Cambodia to Vietnam? Vietnam? Answer, I uh, do not know about this. I do not know that uh, the Vietnamese who had lived in Cambodia were expelled uh, because I uh, was a medic in the hospital and I uh, was there working. So is it then fair to say that you don't really know at all what the fate was of the Vietnamese people? Peut-on donc dire que vous ignorez tout du sort des Vietnamiens? No, I do not know. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, I have one or two last um, questions, uh, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, yesterday at the very beginning of your testimony, you used the word, the words cultural revolution. Um, you explained that a little bit. Have you ever read the words cultural revolution in the revolutionary flag? Or have you ever heard these words uh, at the radio, on the radio? Answer. The term cultural revolution I knew this term when I was young. Uh, I knew this word during the time of uh, Mao Zedong's revolution. De la revolution de Mao Zedong. I heard this word at that time from uh, China. I understand, Mr. Witness, but um, did you ever J'ai bien compris, le témoin. Avez-vous jamais these words in an official publication of the Khmer Rouge or of Democratic Cambodia, such as the Revolutionary Flag? Answer, I never read it. I never saw the Revolutionary Flag issue. I uh, just saw the Revolutionary Flag uh, at this court. I, at that time, I did not uh, see the revolutionary plaque, but I would like to inform the court that uh, I was not member of the parties. That is why I was not allowed to see uh, that document. Ordinary and normal people could not see or read the revolutionary flag. Um, did you ever hear the words cultural revolution during broadcasts of um, the radio station of Democratic Democratic? I never heard the broadcast of radio station. I uh, did not have uh, a radio to tune in. I only obtained a radio and have one at the recent time. Um, so when I read, I will read back your answer to a question to the investigators, uh, Mr. Witness, that is um, question uh, 200 in document E319121. Question 
Did you believe in the revolution? Question. And you answer. Initially, I loved the revolution. But later on, when I heard of the cultural revolution, I stopped liking it right away. Should we now understand this answer differently? That in fact you never heard those words being uttered by DK or the Khmer Rouge? par le démocratique ou par les Khmer Rouges, et que cela modifie votre déposition? Man. Answer. That is correct. Young man. Réponse. C'est exact. My last question, Mr. Witness, in uh, relation to this Maître topic, Coppo, have you ever heard question, of the words? leftist and rightist, words that were used by um, the Khmer Rouge or DK, either in revolutionary flags or on the radio. So the words leftists and rightists. I do not know about Réponse. the rightist or Droitiste, leftist. Gauchiste, no. Let me read, um, <coughs> Mr. President, an, a small Petro excerpt from the revolutionary flag of July 1976. That is on the interface document E3-4, uh, English ERN 00268924. The conference is designated that in order to build the designated party branches in the cooperatives, it is imperative to totally eradicate the leftist and rightist viewpoints. Leftist meaning not believing in the masses, underestimating the mass movement, seeing all the masses as being the enemy. Rightist, meaning just continuing to induct them carelessly, not based on the foundation of the party statutes. Does that refresh uh, your memory somehow, Mr. Monsieur le témoin, est-ce que cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire quant à la signification de ces deux termes? I do not recall this. I non. may forget. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. Thank you, Mr. President. President, I give the floor to the Defense Council for Mr. Kiosampan. You may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Council Kung Sam On. Thank you, Mr. Maître President. Mr. Winness, I have a few questions for your clarification. In relation to your response, that you came to work in a district hospital. Could you tell the court when, when it was? I read the statements and some articles. It said that you were assigned by the district committee. But from your testimony, Par le in relation district, to the buy and exchange of uh, materials uh, for making medicines. I Il would like to know when did that happen and when did uh, you come to work in the hospital? Could you clarify that for the court, please? Answer. In relation to the exchange of material or buying materials. De de My, I was a vendor, Moi, vendeur. and uh, I bought things uh, for sale uh, before 1975. Et ensuite, je so I bought materials to uh, make medicine in the hospital council. My question is that 
ce avant 75. Did the better of uh, material or the exchange of material happened in 1975 after you were in the hospital or it, did it happen before that time? Votre arrivée à l'hôpital ou avant? Answer. I became a medic in after 1975. Je suis I may confuse uh, what I was saying. Je me suis My how before that time uh, uh, sold uh, medicine. I had a small business, so I uh, needed to buy et je devais acheter materials to sell uh, for the sick. Du matériel and uh, after I became a medic, malade. I would go and buy uh, the material to make medicine as well. Ce que je I was de asked to médecin. make je medicine so by the district committee, comité and I told the district committee that I did not have money. I was uh, given some. And Ainsi, later on, when uh, the money was suite, ab abolished, uh, we uh, used uh, uh, pigs or some Nous other cattle to exchange for materials to make medicine. Exemple, Question. Alors, you were the one who went to Vietnam to buy ma material. Do I understand this correctly? Or was someone else uh, who went to Vietnam to buy those materials? Answer. Réponse. I did not go into Vietnamese territory. Je I went to Bat Dai with a, a few of my colleagues, Avec and they were collègues. all deceased. Qui sont tous morts. I was told that we did not have money, so I needed to take cows uh, to go there and exchange donc, uh, with material. For example, we could exchange uh, the string back home. Question, uh, where was Bat Dai? Question, et où se trouvait Bat Dai? Answer, Bat Dai was the area near the border, border of uh, Takao and uh, Vietnam. It, it was Vietnam. in the south of the country. Was Bat Dai close to the border set by the council? Answer. There was a stream uh, which was used to demarc the border of uh, Vietnam and Cambodia, and the place was close to that place. Question, how often did you go there? Answer. We ran out of soap and uh, medicines. Nous plus de savon, de I asked uh, the district committee si to go there and fetch district, some. Si je y aller, so how could I go there easily? At that time, it was not difficult to go there. I, Tachong was the brother of uh, Tam Mok, and he was in the district level. I told him when I needed to uh, get the pick to the border to exchange for material, and he would, uh, Tachong would discuss with the Vietnamese that they, the Vietnamese would come to uh, get the pick. Et les Vietnamiens venaient chercher Council. How les did you how often did you go there? Was it uh, once or twice Question. a month? Combien de fois y alliez-vous? Est-ce que vous y alliez President, une fois please ou deux wait, fois uh, Mr. Witness. Le président, attendez, monsieur le témoin. Answer. I went there twice Réponse, a year fois, fois par an. at the beginning of a dry season Au and another occasion sèche. at the end of uh, the dry Et season. Question, how much medicines uh, did you get per time? 
combien de médicaments obteniez-vous à chaque fois Answer. I did not obtain many medicines. Je n'en obtenais pas beaucoup. After the money was uh, abolished, I, Quand, uh, at that time, I uh, changed two cows uh, with uh, four bedous, and uh, I could get a uh, and also B1. Pour, euh, contre du B12 et je pouvais aussi obtenir du B1 et un autre, euh, une autre substance. Council, thank you very much. I would like uh, to ask you Merci. for your clarification concerning your duties. In your testimony, I heard You said you were the deputy chief of the hospital, and, and on some occasion I heard you said uh, you were par moment, head. Vous disiez que vous étiez le chef de were you promoted Alors, to be a head of the hospital? Pour chef de Answer, no, I was not promoted. I uh, was non. the deputy hospital until the liberation. La liberation. Council, thank you very much. La défense. Je vous remercie. In relation to the structure of uh, the hospital, de la you stated de vous avez dit that uh, there were five uh, sections or state uh, departments, cinq sections, general cinq department, department and uh, delivery department, uh, General, medicine department production department, and de kitchen de and also agriculture section. There were there are contradictions uh, in some of the statements. Could you clarify it for the court il y a des contradictions. Si pourriez-vous clarifier pour la about the five sections or department in your hospital? Quels étaient les cinq départements de votre hôpital? But answer. Actually, there was one section en fait, uh, in charge of uh, the agriculture. De Council. La I want to know about the general section or Moi, department in your hospital. General, Were the personnel trained in general section or department? Au sein de cette section. Answer. Réponse. In it, each section. Dans chaque section. Actually, we had no professional medics, but they could handle injection or they could administer the medicine. Des médicaments. Et There were female and male uh, staff. Que des femmes. Council, thank you very Merci. much. Je vous In relation to the trainings, you state that you underwent vous avez dit two training, one vous for six months, one for another one for three months. What about other personnel in your hospital? Dans votre hôpital. I would like to know the personnel who were in general section. How did they get the training? Answer. Upon my return from the training, I, I convened a meeting for most of the réunion. staff in the hospital. La plupart du personnel de l'hôpital. And uh, the training 
would uh, be held for a group of staff, and at Cette another occasion, it would be held for uh, other staff. Du personnel et à d'autres occasions, c'était organisé Question. pour how un autre groupe de personnel. How often were the personnel there trained? Question. À quelle fréquence le personnel était-il formé? Answer. Réponse. I was in the district hospital. There was uh, one training a month. Dans l'hôpital de district, il y avait une... And uh, in my moi. hospital, I would Dans mon hôpital, hold a training once a month. Une fois par mois But uh, when uh, uh, there was a big event, uh, we uh, would not hold the m training. Mais Question. Y avait des you mentioned that uh, you held uh, the training Question. once a month. Vous and did the training only happen for formation... the staff in the hospital? était destiné uniquement au personnel de votre hôpital Answer, yes, I held the training for oui. my staff. Pour le personnel de mon hôpital. Question, what Question. about the delivery section? Were the staffers trained? Obstétrique, est-ce que les gens étaient formés Answer. For delivery section, I was Question. the trainer as well. Moi le formateur pour la section because I knew how to help delivery, delivering a baby. And I also invited uh, midwives à to accoucher, join and address the training. I brought some experience and example in the training. For example, when the, a pregnant Par woman exemple, could not deliver the baby, I would seek help from midwives nearby. Des femmes à proximité. And if the pregnant woman uh, had difficulty si in the delivering a baby because uh, the lady was small and uh, uh, we would uh, seek advice from the midwives on pose la question aux sages-femmes council where did you receive uh, such uh, uh, specialty question where did you receive such uh, treatment Et from où avez-vous reçu ce, ce, right. ce traitement answer i knew how Réponse. to help people deliver baby from my wife because my wife was a midwife she had been a midwife for long Et elle était sage -femme depuis she longtemps. was not professional elle pas i later on i obtained the training my wife also obtained the training in delivery Ensuite, elle a été formée. Council, thank you very much. Uh, I have uh, paid attention to your testimony. You stated that you gave injection and also you gave treatment to patient before you became the deputy head of the hospital in the district. Avant de devenir I would like to know de de where did you learn how to inject and treat patients? À faire ces injections et ces traitements. Answer. Réponse. In the former system, when I was Sous single, système, when I was about uh, 7 or 18 years old, I was studying in Phnom Penh. À Phnom Penh. I stay in a pagoda, but uh, I uh, would not sleep at the pagoda. Mais I would go pas. and sleep uh, in at uh, the hospital because I had a friend parce que at un ami living in one of the hospitals. My uh, friend taught me about how to give injection and uh, there were midwives in the hospital where my friend uh, was living. So I, uh, I learned uh, 
cet incident from, que j'ai appris. Uh, my friend and also from those people. It was not professional training, but I could uh, do the treatment. professionnel, mais cela m'a permis d'administrer ce traitement. Question. Question. So, how long uh, did you uh, treat people before you became the, the medic in the, your hospital? Soigner des personnes avant de devenir médecin. Je ne sais pas combien de temps. I uh, could give treatment to patients. I uh, was in this profession for about three or four years. Je suis resté dans la profession pendant trois ou quatre ans. Counsel, thank you very much, Mr. President. I would like to adjourn my line of questioning now because uh, the international. Council has a request to put before the chamber. President, you may proceed, uh, Mr. Copé. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. President. We, were, uh, we would like to use this last five minutes of today's hearing uh, to request some clarification because only 20 minutes ago we were notified of a filing uh, by the prosecution uh, indicating another 226 statements uh, coming our way. Um, I'm not saying that I'm getting instantly depressed about this, but maybe I am. Is this something on top of uh, um, the 190 statements that were coming, or we would like to know what it is about? That's why we would like to use the last five minutes, and uh, maybe the international prosecutor could answer this question. President, thank you, Mr. Copé. You have the floor now, Deputy International Co-Prosecutor. I'll be brief, um, Your Honor. Um, my understanding is that, um, pursuant to the uh, uh, International Co-Investigating Judge, has authorized the bulk of the uh, remaining statements uh, that were requested for disclosure, uh, and that, um, therefore, this is. Uh, as we have indicated before, there were, an, there were a significant number of statements still remaining to be disclosed. Um, I can't give you the exact numbers of how many uh, remain, uh, but it's a small, um, small number. My understanding is they've now approved, so um, obviously it's a lot of statements. Uh, the good news is that they've been approved for disclosure now rather than waiting till later stages of the case. Um, while I'm on my feet, too, I would just uh, note for the record um, the council should perhaps take a look at E3 slash 281 pages 00168 050 and 168 073. These are uh, public statements from Noon Chea and Q Simpan praising the cultural revolution. In China. Quelqu'un a rajouté en Chine. President, I would like to know how much time you will use for putting your question to this witness. Counsel, Mr. President, I will uh, need to use uh, much time for this witness. President, it is now convenient time for adjournment. The hearing will resume tomorrow on the 18th March 2015, starting at 9 a.m., and we will resume. The hearing, the testimony of this witness, and after that, the reserve of witness. And uh, the chamber will hear the request of uh, the civil party lead co lawyer to hear uh, the witness D22, hear the document D22 slash 2500. Thank you, Mr. Ariel Son. The hearing of your testimony does not come to an end yet. You are invited to be here to give your testimony tomorrow, starting from 9 a.m. 
Now you may be accused to your place. Court officer, please facilitate with a vessel to send uh, Mr. Witness a real son to his destination and have him returned to the, into the courtroom before 9 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dutch Pari, the duty counsel for this witness. You are also invited to be to, particip to participate in the proceeding during the time this witness uh, gives the testimony of uh, before the chamber. Perhaps it will take only one whole morning in relation to his testimony to be testified. Security personnel, you are instructed to bring Kim Sampong and Moon Jie back to the detention facility and have them returned at 9 a.m. tomorrow. The court is now adjourned.